breaking news, guys. It don't happen. No. <laughs> More problem looms as Yoruba women protest naked. Blames Tunubu for bringing hunger and hardship. <laughs> so who is to blame? This is happening in the early hours of today. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up, Nigerians. In the early hours of today, in a shocking and unprecedented display of civil disobedience, dozens of women stripped naked and marched through a popular market square in southwestern Nigeria to protest against the worsened economic situation in, in, in Nigeria. The women, who were mostly young and from the Yoruba ethnic group, carried placards and banners with various slogans such as, We are hungry. Time must go. Tunubu must go. And enough is enough. They also waved Nigerian flags and sang Yoruba songs of resistance and solidarity as they exposed their bodies to the public eye. The naked protest, which was captured on a viral video and circulated on social media, took place in one of the southwestern states of Nigeria, where President Bola made Tunubu, also known as Bart, he was from. Tunubu, who assumed office in 2023, has been widely criticized for, the, for his poor handling of the economy, which has been blocked by inflation, unemployment, poverty and insecurity. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, Nigerians' inflation rate rose to 18.2% in January 2024, the highest in four years. The prices of food, the fuel, electricity and other essential commodities have skyrocketed, making life unbearable for millions of Nigerians who can barely afford to eat three meals a day. The women who participated in the naked protest said they were fed up with the hardship and suffering caused by the government's policies and demanded immediate action to address the economic crisis. They also called for the resignation of President Tinobu, whom they accused of being insensitive corrupt and incompetent. We are here to show the world how bad things are in Nigeria. We have no food though, no money, no jobs, no security, no hope. We are naked because we have nothing to hide and nothing to lose. We are naked because we want the government to see our pain and our anger. We are naked because we want change, one of the protesters said. The naked protest drew mixed reactions from Nigerians online, with some expressing sympathy and support for the women and others condemning and mocking them. Some also questioned the effectiveness and appropriateness of such a, a radical form of protest and urged the women to adopt more peaceful and dignified methods of expressing their grievances. One of the prominent voices that weighed in on the issue was Shewu Sani, a former senator and human rights activist who posted a message on his official ex account, along with a photo of the elderly women who staged a similar protest in the past. Sani appealed so, appealed to the women to stop protesting in their underwear and suggested that they could use other means to draw attention to the plight. I saw a video of some elderly women protesting the status of the economy by acting new, nude. Please stop protesting in your underwear. There are other ways to make your voices heard and your demand met. You can wear black, you can wear red, you can wear green, you can wear anything, but please don't wear, please don't wear anything. Sani said. However, the women who protested naked said they had no choice but to resort to such an extreme measures 
as they felt that their voices were not being heard and their rights were not being respected. They said they were inspired by the examples of other women who used nudity as form of protest in different parts of the world, such as the Femen movement in Europe, the mothers of the plaza, the mayor in uh, Argentina, and the women of Liberia, Mars Action for Peace. They also vowed to continue their protests until the government responds to their demands and improve the economic situation in the country. They said they were ready to face any consequences, including arrest, harassment, or violence for their actions. We are not ashamed of our bodies. We are ashamed of our government. We are not afraid of the police. We are not afraid of the hunger. Okay, we are afraid of hunger. We are not seeking attention. We are seeking justice. We are not crazy. We are desperate. We are naked. We are not naked protesters. We are naked warriors, another protester said. So guys, as you can see, this is getting tougher every moment. Yoruba women now protect, protect naked, asking President Bola Metinobu to change the situation on ground. What do you think about this? Please, let's hear from you. Kindly drop your view below the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not. Thank you.